Okay, this is Home Depot's uh, Big Hammer software. You can use it to design decks with, and it's tied into the Home Depot stores. So you can get price quotes uh, right away, which is pretty much the only reason I use it. All right, so let's do a quick example. When the software opens up, it gives you these templates to choose from. Let's go ahead and just pick a platform style deck, say 12 by 16. It pops up in the design view and it just shows you what your deck might look like. Um, you can change the way the decking runs, whether it's horizontal, vertical, that type of stuff. Um, but for this example, let's keep it real quick. We'll go in and choose our basic options. And a lot of times for ground decks, you need to know um, how the beams are set up, whether they're flush with the joist, on top of the posts, or to the side of the post. Um, let's go with the side style because that seems to work out pretty good for decks that are real low to the ground. We'll click OK. Oh and here also you can you can change your material type. So you can see the default is Home Depot Veranda. You pop up the list it shows you um, Thompson of Southern Pine, lots of other special order types of things, but let's just go with standard um, Thompsonized decking. It shows you what it looks like. And you also can um, change your joists. Go with Southern Pine. Uh, the beams look good. Posts look good. You can play around with um, the different types of footings. And here's where you can change the deck direction. Let's go ahead and go with diagonal type. And another important factor is the loading. Uh, you need to make sure your deck meets your local codes. So um, they put the defaults in here pretty high. Um, 60 pound live load is even higher than a house. Let's set that back to 40, which is much more normal. And that'll calculate your spans and, and beams better, at least in Michigan. And you can choose the height off the ground. If there's any bracing, that type of stuff. Click OK. We can pop up a 3D view here. And there you go. It shows you what your deck looks like, and you can do fancy animation and look around it from all different angles. You can zoom in a bit. So, not bad. The software is pretty inexpensive. And then the next thing you want to get to is what they call the bill of materials. So click on that. And this gives you a very nice one or two page quote for all the materials that you need. The quantities of everything and uh, it really lists a pretty good detailed description. Uh, not bad for doing a very minimal amount of work. And the coolest part is right here. You click this price button, and that's going to take us out to the internet. It's going to tie into the Home Depot stores, and it'll ask you for your zip code um, in your area. But I've already got that set up, so you can see right here for a 12, 12 by 16 deck, it lists all of our stuff. It gives you the SKUs, comes up with the total price. And you can actually take this to the store, and if you print it out, there's a barcode on it that's on this PDF right here. And you can scan it in right at the desk, and you can order right off of this list if you want to. So it's not too bad. It's I found it pretty helpful for doing really quick and dirty decking quotes when you don't want to run to the store to get up all the current prices.